an earlier video I did about turbochargers, I mentioned AN fittings and how they stand for Army Navy. They're developed for aviation use and then has spread to race cars and everything else in the world. And the hoses themselves are very strong because they got the stainless steel braid on the outside, hose on the inside. Well, if you have a, let me zoom in a little bit here, 6.2 and 6.5 diesel. The engine oil cooler from Chevrolet on the block end. These hoses here I bought eight years ago from Leroy's Diesel out of Houston. And these are for the GMT 400 truck, which means the 98 and newer 6.5 from Chevrolet. And all the GEB blocks have a bigger fitting on the engine side than the 6.2s and the early 6.5s. And the, the fittings for the Chevrolet, in my opinion, the aluminum things they had that had the hoses that always break, I don't want to mess with those in the cow dog. So I bought the kit from Leroy's. Only trouble is, it's made for a 88 and the 2000 truck, the 92 and newer crew cab, Suburban and, and Blazer. These are just a little bit too short. But I ran them for quite a few years. Let me bring the camera out. I'll show you while I bring the hose to you. You can see right there where my stainless braid was cutting through. These were just a little bit too short. And I had them very tightly between the engine to the uh, oil cooler, his oil cooler. I used Leroy's oil cooler. This is the oil, oil cooler kit. I saw that the other day, and I said, I got to fix that. So I wanted to make my own hoses because no one makes an AN hose set for the 6.5 sized. I don't remember this. I should have done this. I think the 6.2s are like three quarter. Uh, pipe thread in the block and the maybe they're half inch pipe thread I don't, I don't remember this but the, the 98 newer 6.5s and the, all the GEP engines are like 15, 16 or 1 inch pipe thread they're bigger, they're all significantly bigger well ordered the kit from Leroy's, I was impressed with it 8 years ago and it had all the adapters to go to make everything fit and all that kind of stuff, well his hoses has straight ends on each end. These are adapters over here. But they're AN adapters. Okay. Well, I ordered a new AN, Dash 10 AN ho line with ends. And the line I ordered was the PTFT. Basically has uh, the nylon inner. Which means the way these things work, you push this over the hose, Push this collet under the braid but over the plastic. Stick this in the hose, slide all together, and screw it down. That's it. I, until I got a plug in this end, I've already pressure tested this line. I plug this, screw this in, put air to it, stick it in a water trough or bucket or whatever you want to do, and keep it clean, not drop it like I do. And this one's ready to install. But you can tell I made it quite a bit bigger than the ones from Leroy's. That's about six to seven inches longer. And the cat is helping me. That's tubby. I already got one line on. And the rub spots that happen that cause this, not touching it anymore. Because I'm long enough. I'm not stretching it tight. There's all kinds of ways to cut this stuff. You can use a hacksaw, you can use whatever. I like using a sharp, a sharp chisel on a wooden surface. This is a metal, I didn't cut it here. And just pow, cuts it right off. That's what this cut here is. But it flattened it out a little bit. See how it flattened it? I have not, I have a resizer here. It'll work. And this, both these ends were flattened like that. I, re, I got on there just fine. 
when you're working with AN lines, making them, in my opinion, it's worth the money and the time to get and wait for the vice. Zoom in. Yeah, oh, that thing there. You can hold a line. Well, it doesn't fall apart on you. Hold it like that. So you can do what you got to do for a symbol on the line. You want to hold it right there, and you tighten right here. And it'll also hold the line sideways. Like that. These vice jaws, I got these off Amazon. They're from Earl's, but they work really well. Anyway. There's lots of videos out there about how to make AN hoses. Come back out. And there's lots of videos about everything. But there's not many videos about oil cooler lines for a 6.2 or 6.5 video or 6.5 diesel. That's why I made this one. I got the plug on this end for the, from the water test, just hand tight now, so that I can feed it under the radiator, front suspension, engine, exhaust, without getting any crud in the line. Just another teachable moment.